Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics. And Jacob Rees-Mogg, the man who lost his cool this week when challenged about his supposed support for a far-right Nazi group in Europe, the AFD, has been slapped down for another tweet yesterday. But for all the exalting of the clear hypocrisy in it, there is danger. Now, the offending tweet from him said, If a long extension leaves us stuck in the EU, we should be as difficult as possible. We could veto any increase in the budget, obstruct the putative EU army, well, I'm not quite sure why he calls it putative, and block Mr Macron's in integrationist schemes. But as a number of people have pointed out, and the one shown is just one of my favourites, Jacob Rees-Mogg, along with other arch-Brexiteers, has long argued that the UK has no control as a member of the EU. But now he's saying we have lots of control. So much control, in fact, that we could bring the EU to a complete standstill. Yet another lie exposed. But there's nothing to laugh about with this tweet. It's not intended for people who might spot the double standards. For example, Led by Donkeys, a Remain campaign, has recently been posting billboards all over the UK and has even been projecting images of them onto the white cliffs of Dover. Of course, putting them on the internet as well, which is how I've got, got to see them. And it, it's intended to show the hypocrisy in statements of a number of Brexiteers. So there was uh, one from Jacob Rees-Mogg himself saying that we should have two referendums. Uh, there are a number of quotes from David Davis, including one where there would be no downsides. Well, all the businesses that have committed to locating overseas, the concerns about getting food and medicines into the country, the falling number of doctors and nurses due to fewer EU medics wanting to come and work here, our broken parliament and the border within Ireland would all like a word with him. There was a quote from the former Brexit noddy, I mean secretary, where he revealed that he hadn't quite understood how the crossing at Dover was important to our trade. And yet he still continues to shoot his mouth off as if he understands anything at all. One from Michael Gove where he said that the day after the referendum we would hold all the cards and choose any path we want. Well, it turns out those cards were jokers. Um, Theresa May, two years later, had to sit outside the EU Council, of which she is a member, while they all made a decision that affects us. And she had to accept it. And she's doing it again next week. And my favourite is from the absentee Prime Minister who caused all this, who said that people at the 2015 general election would be voting for chaos if they elected Labour. It was Cameron's Conservatives who were going to give us strong and stable government. Yeah. But back to the re-smog tweet from yesterday. And the danger is that the tweet is not intended for Remainers, who have long seen through the lies. It's also not intended for Leave supporters, many of whom still sadly fail to do so. Or they make excuses when they can't avoid seeing them. No, it's meant for members of the EU Council. We're all fairly confident that May's government is close to the end, no matter what happens. That means there's going to be another Prime Minister and there's a good chance that it will be a Conservative one. Jacob Rees-Mogg very clearly currently has no direct control over government, but it is also very, very clear that he wields a disproportionate amount of influence over it. As such, we can all be sure that the government... It would never do anything to obstruct the EU, like blocking budget decisions, for example, or future schemes. They may not appear to be, but what we've currently got are more responsible than that. But what if the next Prime Minister is very Eurosceptic, not very bright, and very much under the control of Jacob Rees-Mogg and others like him? There is a serious danger of this. Now, I don't know if any members of the EU Council have serious fears of this, but if even a single one of them does, then the purposes of his tweet is to stoke those fears. Maybe it would be best if the UK left, even if they appear to have changed their mind, they might think. You know, maybe it would be best for them to leave right now with no deal and be forced to negotiate a customs union quickly that keeps our trade, but keeps them out of the EU Council and out of the EU Parliament and out of all that decision-making process. Rees-Mogg only needs to get one EU head of government to think that way and he's won. He's tried to exert his influence on his own head of government, which for a while looked like working to get us out with no deal, but that now seems to be failing. Brexiteers have already tried to lobby EU heads of government and into blocking an extension request. So far, that's failed. Now, Jacob Rees-Mogg may be trying another tactic. He's trying to get the EU mad, just like Muhammad Ali against George Foreman. Now, although a, U a spokesman for the EU Commission said that Jacob Rees-Mogg was an irrelevance, 
The desired reaction was provoked with Guy Verhofstadt, for example. So using the statement to warn others in the EU of the danger of facilitating the UK remaining in the EU, he said, be careful what you wish for. Of course, Verhofstadt is not one of the ones who can block the decision, but it's an example of how, irrelevant or not, rees -Mogg's statement is getting the reaction it's intended. Now, like I said, it only takes one, it only has to take root in the mind of one EU head of government, and that would be that. You know, there's already evidence that President Macron, a man that Jacob Rees-Mogg was careful to insult back in January, is leaning towards denying an extension. So where the bullying of our own Prime Minister and the lobbying of foreign nations hasn't worked, maybe good old-fashioned emotional manipulation might. And that's where the very, very serious danger to this is. So anyway, let me know what you think below. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe for further content, click the bell notification as well. Until next time, I'll see you later.